Has someone told you not to run a giveaway because it will devalue your photography business? Well, I could not disagree more. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why not only does a giveaway not devalue your business, it can do the exact opposite. But before we talk giveaways for your photography business, be sure to enter my giveaway. I am giving £1,000 or the equivalent in dollars or euros to spend at the online photography store of your choice. Nice, right? New lens, anyone? The link is in the description or if you're watching on Instagram, click the link in the bio. But do it now because it won't be live for long. Okay, back to giveaways for your business. A well-run giveaway can be an exceptional marketing campaign and it can fill your diary with high quality clients who are more than happy to pay your prices, even if those prices are premium. Let me tell you about Togs and Business member Sam Coral. She is an incredible pet photographer based in Ottawa, Canada. Sam started her business at the end of 2019. Now, when she joined my membership, she'd already worked hard to set up highly profitable premium pricing with a focus on wall art. The problem was she just wasn't getting the bookings. Sound familiar? So, Sam decided to follow the giveaway strategy from inside the Togs and Business membership. And honestly, her results were nothing short of amazing. A total of 330 people entered Sam's giveaway. 235 of those people said they would like to receive a runner-up prize if they didn't win. And they freely provided Sam with their home address. So Sam mailed out 235 vouchers which had to be redeemed within just a few weeks. The vouchers gave them $300 to put towards a pet photography shoot with Sam. Now Sam has a high average spend so she could afford $300. You would choose an amount that you can afford. Now in order to maximize the number of people who would actually use their voucher, Sam added them all to an email nurture sequence aimed at answering questions, telling stories, crushing objections, and addressing desires. Throughout that, she was completely transparent about prices. By the time the vouchers expired, Sam had shoots booked with 50 of those giveaway entrants. She's fully booked right up to summer. She spoke to each and every one of them on the phone, and they happily paid their deposit, fully aware of the prices after the shoot. Sam has done lots of these shoots already and she has some incredible sales, including her highest sale ever. It's not just Sam, loads of my members, all with completely different price points, have run highly successful giveaways. Now, when people say that a giveaway devalues your business, they simply don't understand how to do it well. A slick, professional, exciting giveaway not only grows your audience and gives you an amazing launch pad for your regular content marketing, it also educates people about how much you cost because the prize has a monetary value. So if you give away a package worth $1,200 or £2,500, you're telling the world that that's what you cost. When you mail out your vouchers, you know, just a small amount of credit is going to be enough. Those runners up know what you cost, so only the right ones will use the voucher. And that's what you want. When you give away something for free strategically, it should be a highly profitable decision. Meaning it's only ever free for the recipient. It's not free for you. So would giving one person your time for free be worth it if you could book 20 more paying clients as a result of that freebie? And if that happens, did you really give your time away for free? Not at all. So let me put some caveats on this though. Make sure a giveaway is right for you. Nothing is a good fit for every photographer. And if you feel it is a good fit, do it well or don't do it at all. So let's talk about why a giveaway might not be right for you. 
It's not right if you have all the inquiries and work that you need, because why would you run a giveaway if you're super, super busy? It's not right if your business offers an uber luxury service. Now, I mean the highest of high end. It's not right if you run giveaways all the time. This should be like a once a year thing or whenever you launch something brand new. It's not right if you're going to half-ass it because this needs strategy and it needs time and effort. It's not right if you don't intend to collect the entrance email addresses. All data protection friendly, of course. It's not right if you don't plan to mail out vouchers to your entrance afterwards because this is how you fill your diary after the giveaway. It's not right if you don't have an excellent email nurture sequence in place for afterwards, because that's what's going to get the right people to use the voucher. People are busy, they need reminding. It's not right if you don't have profitable pricing and a great sales process, whether that's online sales or in person, it doesn't matter. It's not right if you don't handle inquiries really well, you need to banish those generic email responses. It's not right if you're not going to capitalize on all that buzz and momentum afterwards. Your audiences are going to be fired up. So letting that die down and go to waste would be such a shame. So are you going to try a giveaway this year? If leads and bookings are thin on the ground, it's a brilliant way to give your business a much needed boost. Remember, put some time and effort into the build-up and the post-giveaway nurturing and just watch what happens. And don't forget to enter my giveaway for the chance to win £1,000 or the equivalent in dollars or euros to spend at the online photography store of your choice. The link is in the description or if you're watching on Instagram, click the link in the bio.